Hi there, this is Tracy, and tonight I'd like to talk to you about the desire to want to kill yourself when you've been involved in a relationship that's failed. And I don't know about you, but I think that when you're with a narcissist, a sociopath, a psychopath, they have done so much crazy making in your mind that you lose a sense of reality. You lose the feeling that you're worth anything. They've taken that away from you. So for me, I'll tell you my story. Um, when my two ex-husband um, asked me for a divorce, clear out of the blue, completely blindsided. I was forced to move out of my marital home. He moved to the other side of the country and I was put through a horrific divorce. I was so scared of having to start again, having to love again. He was my second husband and I thought the man of my dreams. And I didn't realize until recently how uneven that relationship was and how much more I had given to the relationship. I was just kind of giving and loving and he had a very fake self thing that he would do to me, which was to buy a love trinkets. And whether they were, um, you know, baubles and clothes, uh, 10 pairs of shoes at a time, whatever it was, he, he was like, that was his way to show love. And I was supposed to accept that. And I did. I didn't want to in the beginning, but then I did. And that was this love bombing. This, this whole thing just came on like, exactly textbook, but during that discard and during um, a night which ended up being the last night my son saw him, they went out to dinner and left me in this new apartment, um, unwrapping and unopening all the boxes after I had just moved, and I held the box cutter to my wrist. I googled how to slit your wrist the best way like maybe less mass or quicker. I wanted to know. Sadly, that stuff is out there on Google. But as I sat there in my bed and um, I knew my son would be dropped off soon, I, I called the suicide hotline and they talked me down. And they, and they you know, really put the whole kid thing in there to the point where, you know, what was like, I wasn't thinking what would happen when he found me. And, and then they put that thought in my head and, and then I stopped and, and I cried a lot, but I didn't kill myself. And I wonder how many suicides are a result of being with a sociopath or a narcissist. I wonder what the statistics are that people that have been discarded in this horrific way want to kill themselves, try to kill themselves. I don't think that we're weak. I think that we're strong. We're here. We didn't do it. And I just wrote on my support group, I, I wrote an answer to somebody and I said, the best way to think about that event of possibly, um, you know, cutting yourself for or taking pills, whatever you were going to do to, to, you know, kill yourself. If that thought comes back to your brain, I want you to 
really think that, that it didn't happen. Because maybe you're just outside and the snow is coming down and there's nothing like that quiet of the snow, right? Why is it so quiet? Everything is just this, you don't have that ever. Um, or the rain is falling on your face or you see a rainbow. All of these things are things and reasons why we should be thankful that we're here. But we need to learn that no matter what, we didn't value ourselves and we will never give that power up again. We will never, ever let our well-being be in the hands of someone who doesn't deserve it. That's so important. I wonder how many people we could save if we just taught them this. I know for me, very few people I've told, I tell you guys on YouTube more stuff than my friends. Well, no, but like, you know, Facebook friends. I, it's a hard thing for people to admit. But I'm really glad that I didn't do it. This is Tracy. I'd love it if you subscribed. It's been like the same number all week long. And, and, and that really just makes me sad because I like to watch that go up. And um, I really appreciate that people are watching me. So thank you and um, peace out. This is Tracy. That's all I got.